USB 1.0, 1996. USB 1.0 was the first official version of the Universal Serial Bus Standard introduced in 1996. Its purpose was to replace the many different connectors and ports on personal computers with a single standardized interface. USB 1.0 supported two speeds, low speed, which operated at 1.5 megabits per second, primarily used for keyboards, mice, and simple peripherals, and full speed, which ran at 12 megabits per second, capable of handling devices like printers and early storage drives. This version introduced the standard USB-A and USB-B connectors, the four-pin design, and the concept of plug-and-play, meaning devices could be connected without restarting the computer. Despite its innovation, USB 1.0 had limited adoption at first because of compatibility issues and the slow speed compared to parallel and serial ports already in use. USB 1.1, 1 .1, 1998. USB 1 1.1 addressed the problems of the original USB 1.0 standard. Released in 1998, it fixed compatibility issues that caused devices to fail to connect properly and clarified electrical specifications. USB 1.1 maintained the same data rates of low speed at 1.5 megabits per second and full speed at 12 megabits per second. The update ensured wider adoption across computers, printers, scanners, and early storage devices. It also standardized device classes such as Human Interface Devices, HID, which include keyboards and mice, making it easier for operating systems to support peripherals without custom drivers. USB 1.1's improvements established USB as a reliable interface for everyday computing, setting the stage for the next major speed jump, USB 2.0, 2000. Released in 2000, USB 2.0 introduced high speed, a significant increase to 480 megabits per second, roughly 40 times faster than USB 1.1 full speed. USB 2.0 maintained backward compatibility, so older USB 1.x devices could still function in the new ports, although at the lower speed. This version became the standard for nearly a decade due to its reliability and speed. USB 2.0 supported a wide range of devices, including external hard drives, cameras, flash drives, and game controllers. It also improved power delivery, allowing devices to draw more current, up to 500 milliamps per port which enabled small devices like smartphones and MP3 players to charge through USB. USB 3.0, 2008. USB 3.0, released in 2008, brought a major speed upgrade to 5 gigabits per second, a rate labeled as super speed. This version introduced a new set of connectors with additional pins, typically recognized by blue-colored ports, and maintained backward compatibility with USB 2.0 devices. USB 3.0 included improvements in data transfer efficiency using a new dual simplex architecture which allows data to flow in both directions simultaneously, rather than alternating as in previous USB versions. The standard also increased power output to 900 milliamps, enabling faster charging for larger devices like tablets. These changes made USB 3.0 ideal for high bandwidth applications such as external SSDs, HD webcams, and fast data backup drives. USB 3.1, 2013. USB 3.1, introduced in 2013, doubled the speed of USB 3.0 to 10 gigabits per second, a standard referred to as SuperSpeed Plus. USB 3.1 also introduced improvements in power delivery, supporting up to 100 watts through USB power delivery, which allowed not just charging, but powering devices like laptops directly from USB ports. This version included refinements to the physical interface and signaling to improve efficiency and reliability. USB 3.1 ports are often compatible with the USB-C connector type, which is reversible and can be plugged in either way making it more user-friendly. The combination of high-speed transfer and increased power delivery made USB 3.1 suitable for external displays, high-speed storage, and professional peripherals. USB 3.2, 2000. 
2017. USB 3.2, released in 2017, introduced multiple modes and further increased maximum speeds, creating some confusion in naming. It supports two-lane operation over USB-C cables, allowing speeds up to 20 gigabits per second. Essentially, USB 3.2 is a refinement of USB 3.1, offering better performance when using compatible USB-C cables and devices. The standard maintains backward compatibility with USB 3.0 and USB 2.0, so older devices continue to function at their respective speeds. USB 3.2 also enhanced data encoding, making transfers more efficient and reducing overhead. This version was largely focused on high-performance storage solutions, external GPUs, and displays, benefiting users who need maximum throughput for large files or high-resolution video streams. USB 4, 2019 USB 4, introduced in 2019, is based on the Thunderbolt 3 protocol and standardizes high-speed data transfer across devices. It supports speeds up to 40 gigabits per second and requires USB-C connectors, eliminating older USB-A ports for this standard. USB 4 simplifies the ecosystem by combining data, video, and power delivery into a single protocol. Devices can negotiate bandwidth dynamically, prioritizing video over data when needed, making it ideal for external monitors, docking stations, and high-performance storage. The standard also ensures full backward compatibility with USB 3.x and USB 2.0 devices, while providing significant improvements in efficiency and versatility. USB 4 v 2.0 2022 USB 4 version 2.0, released in 2022, doubles the maximum data transfer speed of USB 4 to 80 gigabits per second when using high-quality cables. This version continues to use USB-C connectors exclusively and maintains backward compatibility with USB 4, USB 3.x, and USB 2.0 devices. USB 4 v 2.0 improves data and video multiplexing, allowing devices to dynamically allocate bandwidth between multiple streams, such as external displays and storage, more efficiently than previous versions. The update also simplifies the USB naming conventions, though users must still ensure they use certified cables to achieve the maximum speed. With its ultra-high speed and versatility, USB 4 v 2.0 is positioned as the future standard for laptops, docking stations, external SSDs, and high-resolution displays, enabling faster workflows and more reliable connectivity across a broad range of devices. The one on screen? Worth a look if you like knowing what most people don't.